Hello and welcome to Jazz Guitar Lessons Berlin. My name is Tina Jekyll. There's a new lesson for you each Monday. And if you like to, you can subscribe to my channel right here. Today I'd like to show you a way how you can construct your own walking bass lines. And in lesson number 10 I showed you how you could play uh, 1, 6 to 5 in E flat major. And, um, and we played on the one of the chord we played the root and on the four we played the chromatic approach note to the next chord. So we're still missing two uh, notes if we want to play a complete walking bass line like this. The first thing you want to do is you'll check out the notes of the arpeggio on the E and the A string. On the E string, and on the A string, then put your metronome on 2 and 4, maybe 50, one of my favorite tempos. And you just play quarter notes to the metronome. Just improvise some lines and get uh, used to the notes of the arpeggio. And then you do the same thing for the C7 chord. You try to find all the notes of the arpeggio and you'll improvise a line with a C7 arpeggio and then the next step would be to connect the E flat major 7 chord with the C7 chord. Let's say you have two bars for each chord E flat major 7, E flat major 7, C7, C7. And now you try to improvise a walking bass line. On the one of the first bar you will have to play the root and on the four of the second bar you will have to play the chromatic approach note to the next root. To start with it maybe it's a good idea to play without metronome and just try to find some lines that you like. Like this. <laughs> To start connecting the C7 to the F minor 7, the F minor 7 to the B flat 7, and the B flat 7 to the E flat major 7. So, first you check out the arpeggio notes on the E and the A string, and you take your time and improvise with each arpeggio for a longer time. You can improvise with or without the metronome. Then, when you're comfortable with, with each arpeggio, you start to connect two chords and maybe you'll give each chord the duration of two bars and after a while you can try to connect all four chords. By writing down the bass line you have a lot of time. You can think about each note very carefully and after writing it down you can practice your own bass lines. And you'll see that will help you to create your own improvised bass lines. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, have a nice day and see you next Monday.